This ain't your grandpappy, Sonic Forces. <gasps> it's not? Whoa. Dug into that son of a bitch and I overclocked the crap out of it. Ooh. I'm fiddled with the controls. I inserted the good boy and now it is set and primed Insert. and ready for a return. Don't ask how that process works, Doug. You and I both don't want to go down that road again. So <laughs> We don't want to go back to Null Space, Daddy. Please don't send no, us back. No, 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 Daddy. Welcome, everybody. Well, no, Daddy Jeez. Welcome back, no, everybody, <laughs> to Sonic Forces, uh, a game that I did not ever plan nor expect I would ever return to when I, you know, when I when I sat there that early morning and pre-ordered and actually waited for a for a nine o'clock midnight release of that game, I never thought I'd be here to say I actually had fun with this. What you're about to see, <laughs> I they all it took was time and care of fans, something that made Mania good and was lacking in forces. Shocker, hmm. uh, actually made this a really solid experience to play through. So this is. Uh, a game that, I guess just getting to some quick uh, meat and potatoes about it. Um, I know that Adrenaline Dubs were the main people who were behind the voice acting side of things. Yes. Um, do we know the de do we know the, de the programming developers from anything? Um, I know uh, the two that are like the biggest, uh, the two big directors of it are two people called uh, The Duck Dealer and Mikester. I don't know them personally. I, j I only met them through my work onto here. But apparently they're also mm -hmm. like... I don't know if I'd say, like, expert modders, but they have been, like, helping to mod Forces for a while now. In fact, those two in particular are actually in the middle of doing another Forces mod, which kind of acts like a... kind of... not to the extent of Project 06, but in a similar vein in that they're trying to make, like, a reimagined mod of Forces that kind of improves on a lot of the problems that people have with it. And some of those, like, points okay. of improvement do kind of bleed over into Overclocked here. But again, right now we're just focusing more on this than the other one. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you helped this mod? Yeah, I know you helped on this mod. I mentioned Adrenaline Dubs. <laughs> that includes hyper voice acting here. And uh, yeah, this is a fan uh, fan interpretation of a sort of an interquill to tie the kind of, let's be honest, like in terms of the gra greater Sonic canon, unless you read the IDW comics before you went into Frontiers, the plot of forces going into Frontiers is a little odd to pick up from that. Like, because all we know is that, oh, Eggman was suddenly trapped in no space. Also, I hear that infinite theme mixed into this music. I'm mm -hmm. clever. Clever. So I think that's more or less the cue that we should probably get a move on. <laughs> yeah, so all you gotta know is that uh, there's gonna be a grand grander plot and things. The only thing that this game will not explain to you, unless it's like, I got better is that Eggman just managed to, hopefully he managed to get out of Null Space after Sonic, I think Buddy as the official, like, uh, canon. Uh, like, uh, the Avatar's like, official name. name is Gadget. Gadget. Gadget, but some people call him Buddy. It's a number of things, but uh, Gadget, Sonic, and other Sonic managed to get rid of him. They, triple, they literally triple boosted them into oblivion. Oh, also, they small, a, they small the spoiler, he mentions oh. the other Sonic. Uh, Classic Sonic is not in this mod. It is strictly Sonic and yeah. Avatar. Yeah, no, his, which, 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 his, which, part, which, his part of the plot's more or less finished. Yep, he can go on to grander things like Sonic Origin. Like Sonic Super... Hey, listen, I'll still, I'll still defend playing, playing through Superstar as a single player. It's multiplayer, though, and some of those boss fights, yuck. Yeah. So, we're actually going to not start the full game of yet. We're going to play Episode Metal, which acts as a prologue to this. To learn what may have happened... What, to learn what is the grander conflict... So, a few days after everything happened, and we went off on a grand Disney montage of cleaning the Earth, we left. Activate for immediate deployment. <gasps> Hi, that's you! You're in this game! D just he insert the cool perfectly. cat clip of, there he is! <laughs> he rendered you perfectly. I'm like looking into a mirror, into a window. There he is, our little baby boo pop. Oh. Please don't come that. I require your assistance. Okay. Time is of the so I'll try to make this brief. So, it, so beyond that, um, well, now I guess how about because I don't believe you were. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was before your time when you joined us. No matter, While we're getting into this setup, yes, setback. Doug, what but were your thoughts on Sonic Forces when it originally came out? Uh, mm. we will destroy that when, horrid little um, um, I was there when I was there during uh, the midnight thing when it came out. 
Uh, my first intent was to play the Shadow the Shadow DLC first and then the main game. Um, okay. Very, very fucking sour taste, in my opinion, once it came out. And I still had a, I still have a grudge towards Forces to this day, honestly. I really don't think it's a good game. Honestly, yeah, I, I share a very I'd similar sentiment. Like, my, like, I'll definitely agree that some of my uh, commentary during our initial, like, our whole initial Sonic Forces uh, commentary was a bit hyperbole, but some of that still rings true. This is probably the most mediocre Sonic game to this day. And the sad thing is, a lot of wasted potential. And the sad thing is, is that what you're hearing is probably the kindest things you'll ever hear about the game as far as our, as far as this fan base is concerned. Yeah, it's like, I mean, that's fine. It's one of those things where, like, I've brought this up before, where, like, there are plenty of, you know, Sonic oh. games, some better than others, or some worse than others, that I'll still go back to this day, just because there's something about them that, you know, there's still some intrigue in them, oh. despite how Oops. silly or stupid they may be. With Forces, there's really nothing to it. Like, this plot is still fucking boring, the gameplay is still very, um, artificial and, uh, slapdashed. And honestly, outside of whatever mileage you can get out of the character creator, there's just nothing. It's null, no, like it, no space. It really doesn't. It really doesn't hold up compared to the other previous titles. Absolutely no, not. No, 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 no. I, I, again, I would return to Generations and unleash far more than Forces. It's just. I mean, as we learned later, a lot of the dev time was just into creating the rendering engine, not even so much, like, good levels and Like, the stuff. game itself, I think, only took, like, I think what they actually got to the game itself, like, the development, I think the development period was, like, a year? I Which, think spoiler so. yeah. alert, it's actually less time than it took to make this mod. Yeah. It's funny Who how knew? that works out. Because right away, as you're kind of noticing, um... The level design in this feels a lot more competent. Enemies actually shoot at you, like they don't, they feel they feel less like they're props, and and it feels longer. Oh yeah, yeah. that that's oh my gosh, like, I went to this oh guy. Boy. Like that's like the one thing that I'll say, like as far as this goes. So it's like, as far as like gameplay goes, it's not that much different from Vanilla Forces. It's mostly like level design where you can tell a lot of improvements came from, mainly in terms of like length and like complexity of the like layouts and designs. Right. Oh, like, for you sure. Can't, you can't just spend the majority of it literally holding down the boost button and then just leaving your leaving your other hand open to I don't know grab a drink. Right. No, and I love that. I, I you'll be seeing like a lot of good things that. I would say, kind of harken back to, like, some of my favorite levels of Generations. Like, various branching paths based on reaction, ba you know, just based on how well your reaction. Look at him, look at him, smoke. <laughs> Clever little shit. I am the one and true Sonic. Oh, Hyper Metal, don't ever change. Uh, 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 so, you didn't say the magic word. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, he's gonna change. It's see, the old death all of this could have been avoided if you would tell him, if you would just said please. I got you, boy. Unfortunately, oh. upon grabbing the Phantom Ruby, a little protocol that Eggman pr previously installed to make sure he did st stop being disobedient, uh, short-circuited. I brought an old friend. Oh, boy. Real talk. This real real talk. I, I I am actually really happy that this thing brought that this fan thing brought him back. Like he's one of like, everyone's like, oh, shadow this, oh, you know. I, I, I like me Neo Metal. He's good. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not like he's, like... Well, I know, like... I wouldn't say he's, like, outright neglected nowadays, because I do know, like, one of the very first arcs for IDW does involve, like, Neo Metal trying to find oh, really? Eggman. Yeah. Oh, okay. <gasps> like, down like down to this design and everything? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I was like, actually surprised. I thought they... I thought I thought once they had Hyper Metal Sonic, they would stop like, using him. Also, I'd great. Say, like, looks like he's found a new friend. Oh yeah, like he brought back Infinite. Uh, the only difference I would say from IDW is that, like, in spite of him having like the Neo Metal persona, he still is pretty obedient to Eggman in the sense of like, like he he's trying to find Eggman, but also trying to conquer the world so he can basically hand Eggman like the the keys to the mansion, if you will, as opposed to how Neo is here, where he's he's a lot more in line with how he is in Heroes, and that he's just basically a defiant little brat. But yeah, he's just like I can do this yeah. better. So <laughs> he got all this power, and then he realized, wait. I don't need that fat bastard to coddle me everywhere, which way and sideways. I can rule this kingdom on my own. Note to self, stop giving them extra credit lessons after dinner. <laughs> don't Stop making the robots too smart. 
so now that you understand uh, why Neo Metal is going to be our new main antagonist alongside Infinite, let's go see what Sonic and the friends have been up to after that Disney montage of cleaning up some of the place. It all starts you know, back on Green Hill Zone, which and after unfortunately you beat the game, becomes you can swap to him. Sorry. No worries. It pretty much works almost the same way as like how um, in you mean in the base game, like once you complete an episode Shadow, you um, once you complete it, like the levels, you actually can you know swap Sonic for Shadow. Okay. All right. Well, let's go see what has now happened in the Stolen Valley. So yeah, picking up immediately where Episode Metal ended off, we now see uh, Neo Metal starting to forge an alliance with Infinite, who, you know, disappeared at the end of Forces, but now we know where he went. Yeah. All we could recall was that he was likely, in, he was either likely absorbed by the ruby, almost consumed first. by it, and I'm, I'm going to lay down Not some fair, yet. hopefully fair criticism. I think these particular, this particular art style with these solid lines, trying to reminisce, remin very reminiscent of the IDW comics. I think these are my, fa I think this is my favorite art style used in these animatic cutscenes. Yeah, because that's one thing to say. Uh, this mod for all the cutscenes, because um, yeah, the, the, this this mod uses like entirely 2D cutscenes, like not too similar to like the storybook games, because like you know, let's be honest, this is a very ambitious mod as it is. Having full 3D cutscenes would probably be asking a little too much out of a, a small group of dedicated fans. But for these cutscenes, they actually had multiple artists on board, and you can definitely tell that like some of them have like more distinct art styles from each other than others. Right. right. Like, it definitely feels like a case where, not to completely discredit this uh, mod for doing so, but, like, you think maybe they would have done a better job of um, enforcing some level of consistency. Like, that's the thing. Like, that, like in most projects, you can have multiple artists who just have, like, oh, these are, like, the, like, what is it called? Like, the in-between artists? Like, the, there's something where, like, you have some, like, basically have it, like, be each person does a certain phase of it. That way, no one person is responsible for everything, but you at least keep a consistent style throughout. Right. That and also, you know, enforcing, like, all, like that, that's also the reason why model sheets are a thing. Right. Like, I went... Well, that being said, like, like I can kind of understand Logan's complaint. I uh, I personally think, like, a lot of the art, uh, a lot of the art in the cutscenes are actually just good overall. I, I get where he's coming from in that it's not super consistent, but, like, you know, in a vacuum, I feel like all the cutscenes look really great. I mean, from I think what all I've actually seen of this... Somebody, can you hear me? I was just about to say, I do like some of the art styles in these uh, cutscenes, but not all of them really stick out to me. Some of them feels a bit iffy, depending on what they're trying to go for, in my opinion. I can't really describe it that well. Yeah, there are... I do think there are some cutscenes that feel a little rougher than others. But, like, I don't know, like... Falling back on food analogy... Sorry, Doug. I mean, like... It, it's basically like it's like oh it's like a slight it's like a slight okay. bit of the steak that's burnt. The steak is still really good, and I really thoroughly enjoyed the experience. It's just like some things that I would maybe like if I were to ever replay this, I would chew around. But um, <laughs> it's like it's like Sonic trying to uh, trying to man man himself a barbecue spit. So, hey, look, we're back in Starlight Zone have... for so long. It's kind of funny because I did have steak the other night. Aww. Nice. nice. Also, that's also wow. Talk about a Sonic One level that they almost never use in the games anymore. Freaking Starlight Zone. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think if you listen closely, you can actually hear a bit of the Starlight Zone theme mixed into here. Ah, that that is right. Yeah, we also have um, we also have original music musicians working on all this, and gotta say that I I think they do a really good job with the uh, the jams on this too. It it there's still some of the synth. You know, because that's very reminiscent of Force's uh, music style, but I think they add, I think they have a better, they have better uh, balancing or instrumentation to make it so that they don't dominate the soundtrack. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, again, my problem with the soundtrack in Forces was never really, you know, the overall quality of it. It's more so that they overutilized the uh, synth as like the lead, like the whole, like the lead instrument. Right. Which kind of makes some sounds feel like they sort of. Like, a lot of the, the, the music kind of just messed with each other. Hmm. So, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm actually hearing, like, a doomed version of Green Hill's music in this. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, even, like, right away, you're already seeing a ton of, like, branching paths, and, you know, by now, the level would have been over in a Standard Forces affair, so... You find it funny, though, that we literally started from Starlight Zone and we immediately mu fi actually find our way right back to Green Hill, even though the two were so separated in terms of the overall map layout. 
Well, I guess I that also just kind of depends fast. on, like, just the entire geography of the... South Island is Sonic 1, right? Yep. Well, I guess it depends on the entire geography of South Island. Because, like, yeah, we know that, like, in terms of, like, chronological order, we go here much later. We go to Starlight much later than Green Hill. But in terms of, like, you know, topical, like, areas of a map, we don't know if it's really as far away from Green Hill as, like, the level structure makes us think it is. I suppose that's fair. Better watch my step. Like maybe, like maybe in the case, like in the case of Sonic One, maybe he took a very ino inopportune route and just ended up in Marble Zone. Even though it's probably, for all we know, that's like well, much further away from Green Hill. Yeah. Right there we go. It's like it's like I don't know. It's like <laughs> it's like how did we get here, Sonic? Hey, I, mean, I don't know. I don't guess it doesn't make sense. Uh, Wait a minute, who I am guess... I talking to? This is Sonic One, Sonic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Eggman's right? bridge is falling down. So unfortunately, there's only unfortunately there's only eight stages, which is probably my other like sort of nitpick. Which you know, take it for what you will. I really enjoy this game and almost wish there was more of it to play. I mean, I mean that's also real. fair, but also you gotta keep into account that like, like, whenever it comes to like these kind of like mod projects, like. You can't really expect every mod to have, like, the exact same amount of, like, length and content as, like, you know, the official double or triple A game. So, honestly, the fact that this game is as packed with content as it is, is kind of an anomaly in and of itself. I mean, also being fair, for what I immediately remember from when you, you showed us this uh, mod, uh, Logan, um, by the time you finished it, you were already, like, one, like, a third of the way done of the main campaign. It's time I talk. Yeah... Mind if I throw in my two rings? And the main campaign you can beat in like three hours. That's Why fair. Would you always interfere with yeah, my okay, fire? that's fair. Chill out, Egghead. I won't more plans. Hard on your Get more fan dog. creators to just make their own big Sonic game and just release it under Sega's nose. <laughs> literally, bring, literally bring a whole like conjure up a whole spirit bomb worth of. Um, I want that. I want the freaking developers. Sonic. I want the Sonic fan team Avengers. Make it. Let's make our own the Sega with blackjack and hookers. So, I mean, and a redhead, and a redheaded infinite. Yeah, infinite's looking a little bit more uh, flashy with his hairdo from the seventies. Would love nothing more than to sew that mouth of yours shut if I could. But fans wouldn't like that. Have to wait your turn. <laughs> well, it depends on which fans well, you talk to. Where were we? Listen, I've seen I've seen another uh, gaming gaming icon so, have his mouth sewn. I don't think it would be as effective as you think. Hey, come probably on. wouldn't feel all that pleasant. Oh, jeez. He's made no space Ooh. again. A good boy! No, not the bad egg. Oh yeah, crap. Just uh -oh. Oh, So, um, are so for these characters, Sonic, Infinite, Amy, are these the usual? Are these like the 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 studio regulars for Adrenaline Dubs? Um, for Sonic and Amy, yes. Um, the actor for Infinite is not technically part of Adrenaline. That being said, he is someone that I have worked with before, uh, James Digit. He's also a friend of Jordan's as well. And I have I know I collaborated with him on, like, a, a few projects. Like, he was the guy that I had voice Gordon back in my old uh, Batman team and Tita. Um, I do know, like, another group that he's a part of that he interacts with more uh, frequently is a, another dubbing group called Ovas. Ovas? Oh, yeah, Ovas. Oh, yeah, uh, there are a bunch of, like... They're mostly known for, like, a lot of their Pokemon dub stuff, but they also dabble into Sonic stuff as well. Uh, they're also the same people that did that uh, Star Fox team-playing Uno video I showed you a while ago. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. You're playing, you're playing more, like, more like your father. A gentleman's game, and... Oh, what? Uh-oh. Right on. For now. It's a solid sound of life for infinite. I'll be there right now. Hold on. Yay. Boy, Landy's gonna be real disappointed when they tell him how deep he's gotta start voicing Sonic in Sonic Frontiers overclock. Gosh dang it! Not the <laughs> <random Frontiers. audience. laughs> Man. That's what you get, Logan, for saying that. Ah it's cool though. It looks like freaking iridescent oil. Alright, let's go to Chemical Plan and figure out what the heck's going on because oh, because look at that. Um, you know. Gadget's been up to his old tricks again. But now you gotta fit Gadget to your own preferences. Yeah, which I'm gonna yep, do this right away. You can look however you wanna look like. 
And I'll say just like a slight spoiler uh, when you guys were talking about like uh, certain cutscene styles looking uh, worse than others. I still stand by my opinion that I do like a lot of the art style and the cutscenes. This next one coming up is probably my least favorite of them, though. Sorry, just yeah. again, a, a consistent art style. Like, like for the next project, like again, like fantastic stuff all around. Just you know, things to learn for next time. I would not be. Well, I, would not, like, I think been... they changed. Oh. What's funny is that I think they changed artists in like mid cutscene because it only looks like this during the first half of it. Then they swap to a different art artist like mid cutscene. Wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hmm. The oh. focus blur on that was insane. Down, you two. Charmy is spooked. And good Wait, thing we have another new boy. <laughs> new boy. I will say, when I shared it, when I shared this with a friend, uh, they, they, they did think your SBO was spot on. Well, I do appreciate that, because to be honest, like, SBO is one of those characters that I'm a little self-conscious about, and that I sometimes feel like I don't voice them as well as I would other characters. I'm kind of on the same boat when it comes to me voicing Espio, honestly, because it kind of feels like when I do voice Espio, it's gonna mix in slightly with either both my chat or on Knuckles. I mean, Ow. you know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, Doug, because, like, when I was, like, talking with Landy about it, when he streamed it for, um, A-Dubs, oh, he made a similar easy. remark in that, like, saying that, like, he thinks my SBO is good in a vacuum, it's just a matter of, don't have me voice both SBO and Shadow in a thing together. <laughs> for me, I think that, for, for me, I think that's me with Knuckles. Like, oh, look at you, I mean, dork. Uh, soldier. <laughs> it's the uh, old I saved their vector. Is of the essence. But yeah, same, same thing with sure me and Knuckles. Were like, I I like his character and roles, but I don't think I I don't think I have the voice for a Knuckles. Well, I think I think your voice for Knuckles is fine. I think the issue I was talking about is more so a matter of like voicing two characters that like have similar enough voices to where it's a little too easy for them to yeah. bleed together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair. Well, in we go. So. Uh, right away, another cool, kind of cool thing you'll be seeing is that I didn't realize Hedgehog Engine 2 oh, and everything, like, was this, like, flexible? Back. Like, you can, like, have a lot of custom like animations and stuff yeah, inside but... this engine pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. Whoop! Whoop! So, welcome to, I think, the next big thing that they improved. Uh, they gave uh, Avatar character uh, some better uh, levels to work with. Um, yep. Like, Does he still control about as stiffly as he did in the original Forces? Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's kind of there. It's um, I mean, well, like my, it's like my, I was saying my earlier, whole... like a lot of the improvements in the mod more so go to the level design than the the gameplay physics. Right, like for gotcha. the, like for there, I was able to use the momentum of jumping to hit that ring where normally I can. The, the I mean the the uh, buddy's problem or sorry, uh, gadget's problem with me was never ever even really tied to his. It was never tied to the game. It was tied to who he is, which is like, for here, I can like actually last over that while Espio runs over. Like, Charmy's flying by. Like, little things like that, I think, are cute. Um, for me, the problem falls upon, like, he doesn't have boost. And yes, I'm sorry. I am a baby who grew up with boost games and I enjoy <laughs> boosting, so not being able to boost feels like playing a, a Metroidvania without double Did the jumping, Avatar so. even have boost in the original game? No, he did not. Nope. No. Okay, I could have sworn he did. The only no, the only front. somewhat boost Oops. that it can get is only using the uh, drill wispin. Okay, right, right. Like wisp wispons in general are pretty much the uh, avatar's primary gimmick. That's why yeah, I right. like using uh, lightning because it allows me to at least like lightning, le at least allows me to heist to a freaking light speed dash. Oh hey infinite. Uh oh. Hey what's up fucker? Choo choo. I think it, I think one thing that also did me a laugh. I think maybe a laugh at one point when you were playing the stage Logan is that you actually thought I was voicing what one of the characters here. I th I, I it, it at first it sounded like your vector. You know yeah. it's actually kind of funny in regards to vector. Um, it's not set. This isn't mentioned in the credits, but vector in this mod technically has two actors. Uh, the first oh. one that you heard is uh, huh. actually a friend of mine, Jake Goodman. A really really nice guy, very oh, very Jake. sweet. And then, yeah, and then uh, later on in the mod, he gets replaced with another actor called uh, Bold King Cole, who did used to be a part of Adrenaline, but then left for um, a number of reasons, some more personal than others. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Um, does Buddy, did anybody, uh, is there one person who does, like, say, the voices for these grunts of Buddy, or is that just taken from the base game? 
I think they're taken from the base game, because I don't remember there being an actor for them, a custom actor for them in this mod. Okay. Makes sense, considering that they never really spoke. Right. Nope. Oh. And... Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh! oh, oh I'm no. okay! Somebody get the number of that truck. Yes. Somebody get the number of that donkey cart. Man, the whole place is already I, I did nothing. No one. You, I did nothing. You saw me. Oh my gosh. And. Then the brakes when this whole place is literally bathed in chemicals. And a lot of infinite cubes and stuff. And an infinite the dragon. Vector. Oh my gosh. Oh God, I'm not used to this much cardio. I'm not used to running like this, man. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go uh, get me a gym membership. My dogs are barking. That. All right, let's go see what, what happens. What guys. if he just calls his legs that? My dogs are barking, and whenever, whenever they had a fucking run. I would love that cut. I would love that uh, new catchphrase. Oh, okay. uh, get him, Sparky! That's the other thing is that there's all. I think that's another really quick. I think that's another big thing that I like over this game. Hey, uh, is that Been a while, is that this game? Even though it's the animatic comic thing, HQ. this game has we far more like actual like solid cutscenes. I remember, I remember a decent portion of the cutscenes in Forces just being those intercom conversations. Yeah, like there were some cutscenes for sure, but I just remember not. I just remember yeah. them not being nearly as like the ratio in this game is a lot more generous. Yeah, I mean you'll still have the intercom cutscenes here and there, but yeah, I get what you mean. All right, city siege. They go save our friends. They take a drink. Here we go. <laughs> So, in, guys. It, so in your in the stream that you guys did on Adrenaline Dubs uh, on Adrenaline Dubs' channel, um, which by the way, go check out the Adrenaline Dubs channel for all that stuff and more content. Wow! Whoops! Copy that. I'm about to fall now. Was that knuckles? Was that so? I'll talk to you later. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Cause yeah, they brought this back from Shadow. Yay! Rapid, Man, the rapid, like, uh, homie attack. That definitely feels like something they should have made more use out of in the game proper, as opposed to just using it for uh, episode shadow. Right? Literally. Now, where were you asking about the, the A-Dub stream? Oh, yeah, in, in that A-Dub stream, uh, did you guys ever have a uh, particularly favorite uh, stage? Um... I'm not sure to be honest, because like the the one that was playing it more so was uh, Landy. I was just observing. I, th I think the only people that were there on that stream were me, him, a uh, duck, um, Kevin, I'm well, not, yeah, Kevin, and a uh, code, one of the uh, artists that were involved in the cutscenes. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't remember if they really mentioned anything about like favorite levels. Uh, they did mention like a handful of like interesting things as well, like. So, like we mentioned before, this game took a couple of years to, like, develop, and apparently the story of the mod actually changed quite a bit during development, like a bunch of various elements were taken out and were added in and whatnot. Like, I joked about Classic Sonic not being in this mod, he was going to be in it originally, but then as they started revising the story, they just took him out. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, again, it just can't, there just comes to a point where, like, he already had his time time in this game, even though it wasn't necessary in the first place. There's really no need to go back on that. Well, yeah, I also bring up the whole notion of, like, you know, things taking out or left behind from previous elements, because there's going to be a character-related thing happening later in one of the cutscenes that, um, to me, just screams leftover from a previous script, and you'll know exactly what it is when you see him. Okay. I assume it's the, is it the one involving Gadget? Um, it's not involving any of the playable characters, I'll say that much. Oh, okay. Got it. Get up! Hey! Right. Where the hell am I going? I go over here, and then I break this, and there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. What am I doing here again? I oh yeah, do that thing! And then... For those of you who in, for those of you who enjoyed, uh, Sonic, uh... Oh my gosh, for those of you who enjoyed Sonic Adventure, uh... Keep your eyes peeled soon. I get uh, yeah. this. Almost. Uh, but that's... Little, little, literally keep your eyes open all Clockwork Orange style. <laughs> oh, hey. Stop, stop, please. I beg you. I didn't listen, Hype. I'm so sorry. Oh. 
But like, see, like this, like this tune here with the guitar and like, and how much they flesh out the city of you running through it. Like this, this, I, I, I will say, I really do enjoy this level so far. Like, like that, that's a huge difference for me. Is that these levels are these levels may occasionally be long, but they never feel frustrating to me. And they have a lot going on in them. Like you'll like, it, like if you've been paying attention, all these blink and you miss it moments. Sorry for those watching on Discord stream because I clearly can't handle all this at once. Um, Man, isn't this just the best slideshow in the world? But well, you'll, I mean, you'll, yo, I love that's it. That's just Discord fault. It's definitely my favorite. There it is. Hey, it's infinite. If pretending he's chaos. Ain't that so cute? Hopefully it ain't too gross in there. Yep. Uh, Ow. You know, it's really okay. funny because, like, I do appreciate this mod actually making a lot more use of these weird infinite snake things than in the original game, whereas in the original game, they were just kind of, like, hanging around in the background. You never really interacted with them. Right. Like, it's actual threat now. And, and but yeah, as you saw there, like, it's some of those blink and you miss it moments. I like that they, like, go through the trouble of adding in, like, props like little things in the background like those resistance fighters who were shooting up badniks and stuff like the things to make it look just make the most of having a lived-in stage and environment make the world alive and i can and give it a hook i can't i i don't know i assume this is a reference to the comic maybe but you can you, uh, one of the costumes you can eventually give a gadget is a pirate outfit just fold the, uh, fold i don't fold know the if it's a reference outfit. to the comic specifically probably just you know standard pirate look okay can he go? Can you actually make him? Does he get enough that it lets him go into uh, yeehaw mode? I'm going uh -huh. yeehaw mode. The fact that Tails actually hey, says that I love how that many line. Of these things are there? I'm going yeehaw mode. And... <gasps> Oop. That's a lot of them. Ah, well, there you go. Whole pack of robots. <laughs> Lost walkers. Uh, so was it this? And I forget. Was it the same? You mentioned the writers and stuff. Is it the same writing uh, team from? Jeez, uh, have they worked buddy. on any other like fan projects with you guys? With that kind of move. Um, well, because, like, again, it's mainly, like, Mike and Duck that did a lot of the, the writing. I Yo, don't know Alex, if they've done anything else the outside of their stuff with oh, Forces hey, Modding. Um, I'll, I'll probably have to ask them at a what later up? point. No, oh, here it comes. Here Jeez. comes the boy. <laughs> Charmy, don't ever make that face again. <laughs> yeah, that's also something I've been noticing, like, during our initial stream. It's like, this uh, mod is definitely a little, definitely has no shame when it comes to using memes on occasion. Low random. Especially one but... that'll pop in later on. You'll see what it is. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, man, again, it's a fan thing. I, they're having fun, and if it's, if it's, oh! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, hello. So. What the hell? Man. Why are you wearing that getup? You spooked me. It Is it just that easy to just half roboticize you like that? Oh yeah, like I said, this was the thing I mentioned before where apparently Tails wearing the same like cyborg mech outfit that he had in Lost World, apparently that was a leftover from one of the earlier drafts of the story and they just didn't feel like, you know, removing it. Uh, so all you gotta know is that eventually he'll just come off, which... If, again, if it was just the headpiece and the arm, I could I could understand, but his his left foot is still roboticized, so... I mean, just give him, like, Ray Gun. That's all he needs. Ray Gun. Oh, yeah, like, another like, remember, remember back in Sonic Battle, that was one of his specials? Oh, yeah. There's one other bit of critique I will give, and then we'll be back to, you know, gushing over this, uh, go, gushing over this game. The voice work? All fantastic. Hey, Amy! Hey, Amy! <laughs> Exactly have much of a choice oh, I thought he was going to talk. Is that he sounds great. I, I I dig his Knuckles voice, but I feel like something happened with his compression in his mic that made the quality sound a little different than everyone else's. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll have to ask Andrew if that is the case, because he, he usually sounds pretty good yeah, well, in like every other thing he's done. Sort of in fact, funny thing, again. Andrew is actually someone I've co-worked with in a lot of things. Mm. Like, Rain like I know he's a co-actor of mine in this uh, parody series called The Sonic and Knuckles Show, where he actually voices Sonic in that as opposed to Knuckles. Aww. And he's also someone that, um, he, he is also involved in a lot of my Mega Man stuff. He's usually my actor for Proto Man, and he does his own Mega Man stuff as well. All of the ships there have been destroyed. Oh, okay. If it weren't for the kid, we may have been as well. Man, Yay. Eggman's really stepping up his game. Like right there, it's like it sounds a little tinnier, you know, where like it almost sounds like like there, there was like a like you know how like if you use noise removal and it removes a little bit more of your voice than you think it would. Nah, 
This ain't mm him. -hmm. That that's all it sounds like is all like again, everything else is fine. Just that that was the only thing I noted. But uh, again, what? burnt piece of meat on the wonderful meat that I still love and it still tastes good. It's super light on the details for the plan this time around. How many patties do you think are on that burger? Oh man, yes. have you seen what the bubble bath order looks like in real life? We serve food <laughs> here, sir. No, like seriously, have you guys ever legitimately looked at that? Oh yeah, I watched the video. Oh my god, it's it's, it's insane. We've all seen Bibi, Bibi uh, binging with Babish at least once or twice. Okay. Yeah, you said it. Whatever game Infinite's playing, we'll find a way to stop him. You said it. This is Delta Squad. Is anyone there? We need immediate support. My favorite Sonic team. character, Soldier the Soldier. Soldier the Man. <laughs> That's a distressing right, little Soldier the Jungle. The devil. Hello. Closed in. The jungle is shifting. The vines here are <laughs> moving. You'll just have to take their word for it. The jungle is shifting. Yeah. We must help. Well, again, like, <laughs> this, I mean, this is probably the best that they could do in terms of like trying to like use in-game models for cutscenes. Right. Uh, for those curious, for those curious again, there are eight stages in the game, so we're nearing about the halfway point. Oh, it's winter time. Look at that. But hey, at least I can boost again. So we're all we are in good faith or good good hands. Now. All it took was to give him give him the ability to boost again. Right. Which man, now that I look back on it, like after Sonic Four, like after Sonic Frontiers, I'm starting to realize now why the boost has always been feeling a little, always felt a little incomplete to me. Even like way back in like the uh, Rush days. Uh huh. It feels like something that'd be more natural, if, you know. You saw in Sonic naturally spin dash while doing so. Oh, uh, okay. So so if we just. I'm sure there's a mod that can even do that at this point, but I see what you're saying. Like, if we just I'm sure if we is. just replace it with his spin dash animation from Frontiers. Exactly. I mean, hell, the freaking spin dash in Sonic Frontiers is essentially just the boost from the uh, previous games again. I jumped too early. I, I I jumped too late. I saw a cool thingy that I wanted to explore, and I jumped too fast. So I'm gonna wait up here, and then you got hop. distracted by shiny thing. There it is. Yay. You really did get distracted by shiny thing. A hundred percent. You see, what we don't know is that uh, Logan is actually part magpie. Plastic bag, plastic bag, plastic bag, plastic bag. <laughs> Duck. Wank. Wank. Ah, there you go again. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, magpies. But again, thankfully, you guys made understandable and reasonable checkpoints. Yeah, like again. I mean, now that I think about it, I don't even remember how often they even brought in checkpoints with with the original forces. Probably not well, even all how that... short it was. I imagine they're not super frequent. That's to say, like it probably right. it probably wasn't even all, it probably even wasn't all that often because whenever there normally would be a checkpoint, the Over level had already been done. And okay, Hang tight. where are you going? Boom. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Uh, uh, thanks. Well, yeah, I think it, it was just to mark? take care of that small group of badniks that are harassing people back there. Uh, no. Use the lightning. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. Those badniks were being a bunch of meanies back there. I'm all out with spawn energy. Uh, yeah, just get going. <sighs> so, with what you've been seeing so far with all of this, um... No, you... Nope, I... Hang on, nope, go uh, back. I'm gonna do the thing, I'm gonna do the cool thing. Do the cool thing. I wanna do the cool thing. And go... I don't think you are gonna do the cool thing, point. Logan. Ah, oh, you're right, I'm out of freaking energy again. Ah, I hate how the wisp bomb works. But I love this game. I hate it. Well, you love this mod anyway. I hate, I, I hate, I hate the game. Don't hate, don't hate the game. Don't, don't hate the mod or hate the game. Love the mod or <laughs> hate the game. Love the steak, hate the fries. Well, I mean, for us, could be fine. Those are my last words. Put them on my tombstone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Love the steak, hate the fries. But what if they're steak fries? Oh shit! I was about to say you—you you just had bad fries, then, my friend. I can't, can't, I can't handle that kind of like that kind of like conscientious decision, James. <laughs> he is only oh, I a thought I would hit that man. rainbow All ring. All he craves are tater tots. I really thought I was gonna hit that rainbow ring. Okay, let's keep going. But you were okay, saying so you were saying before that. Fiasco. Uh, having now, like, seen some of this, uh, Doug, James, if for whatever reason you decide to make the silly decision that I made to buy this game on, uh, 
on a Steam so that I could actually mod it properly for this. Uh, would you be, would you guys be interested in play in replaying it like this? Oh, hey, you burn bot. Uh, that, uh, it, oh yeah, that's the freaking fire blimp from Sonic Three. Yep. What an odd thing to bring back. No. And destroy. But, yeah. But yeah, no. I guess to answer your question, like. If, it, if it's to go on sale again, like it did just this past winter, I'd say maybe. Yeah, it was basically on sale for 10 bucks. I would. I, I, go ahead. I would probably say yes, but at the same time, it is forces. Yeah. Although it's I'd say said, maybe wait. Hmm? I'd say probably wait until there's another, you know, really worthwhile mod like this one. That's true. Before I start, before even I would say you know, so, yeah. Forces another shot. I have a collection of them, that's fair. Because I, cause I, I do have forces just... on Steam. I just been I've I have not played it in years. Yeah. I do think it is just amusing the coincidence, the fact that like the day that this thing was released was when forces ended up getting like a surprisingly generous sale on its end on Steam. Thank you, Steam Winter Sale. Thank you. Thanks, Steam. Yeah. Yeah. I I think ten bucks this is a I think for the for the amount of work and effort you guys put into this, I think ten bucks is fair for me. I, I again I would love if there was I guess a bit more, but I'm not I'm not complaining with this. Uh, but yeah, if you can somehow if Forces somehow goes on sale for like five bucks, I'd say pick it up. Cause five bucks for this I think is is more than fun. Five bucks honestly sounds it sounds like the appropriate price for uh, Sonic Forces Forces proper. Yeah. Well, and then, and then you have the fan base that are saying, like, oh, I don't know, that sounds like five bucks too much. <laughs> hey, at least you're getting your money's worth. It's only five bucks. But it's forces. Yeah. It doesn't even deserve negative money. <laughs> Aw. Whoa, my lord. Man, these vines are a real thorn in my side. <laughs> like, if forces oh, paid me I'm washed to up. get it, like, if I actually gained money from playing forces, I would still turn it down because forces. Ooh, we're good. Dang, Sonic! But now's not the time to start acting like you have a midlife. You're in a midlife crisis. It's not gonna be. It's Again. not bad just yet. Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give it about ten more years. Where the hell are we? Oh, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm over there. Okay. Sure, we. So we are. So we are. Nope. Come on. Oh, I don't have drill. Uh, and I don't have void. Was void ever a good wisp on? Uh, I say. I say this as someone who. Um, really kind of only ever did. used lightning. I remember uh, Void did, I, was good in terms of clearing out enemies. Yeah, that's really good. Void had a Wispawn. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, in general, I think the Wispawn system would have just been better if they stuck closer to that of... Oh, jeez. If it just stuck closer to how Sonic Colors work, things were like... It didn't really matter, like, what Wispawn... Like, I don't know. I, I think <laughs> what would have worked is that the Wispawn itself was, you know, able to use utilize every single wisp that you come across. You know, kind of like you get them in Sonic Colors. That's fair. Oh. Because yeah. I do think just, like, making every wet, like, making multiple wisp bonds dedicated to a specific power was a little long. I don't know. There's something about it that doesn't feel right to well, me. But what, what makes it lame is that you don't get the, you don't get as much choice in, in the moment. Like, in the sense of, like, sure, like, uh, how to put this... Like, like, say for example, you, you're using your lightning respawn, but like, maybe like you, you'll end up coming across like maybe a couple of uh, pods that have um, like a l l like the burst of respawn in it. But you're sure as hell not gonna get any anything from it, right? Well, how about and, and, this? How would you like it if, like, if for you know for hypothetical sake, they decide to go back to the concept of respawn? How about they make it so that like you can have a respawn that can carry up to like two different types of wisps that you can be able to like switch on the fly? It would help. That would be better. It would help, but but I I just think that they I don't know why they had to change from colors. Like just have it be that if you find exactly. if you find the thing in the level that will give you the ability. Exactly. Oh my! Like like you know what? I'll, I'll at least say this much. Like have it so that like all those like unique abilities you get through those response, like when one's literally a flamethrower, one's literally uh, an electric whip. Right. Like that's all. Like that's all fine. But like the addition, like the secondary power ups that come with those. Now that should that should have been something that any response could use. So that way, you could use them right when they're absolutely when they're absolutely pivotal in the level. Right. Because otherwise, otherwise you have to now replay that level with this response equipped, like this one. Exactly. Right, then you have to replay with that. It, 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 yeah, it, it, I think it added some unnecessary fluff. Like, like imagine how much better it would be where you had you could just keep your burst wisp on, but then you grab if you get in a, like the uh, lightning wisp or whatever they call that, 
then it would give you the ability to light speed dash. No, you didn't even have to matter all that much if you were soldiers. Oh boy, you're not real soldiers, are you? Wait a sec, they're gone. It's an ambush. They were made in a bomb factory, foolish rodent. A bomb. Nice to be playing roulette, eh? Yeah, very subtle, Infinite. So I assume that distress signal was just to draw us in? Well, no. But after I saw you and your little tag along enter the jungle, I decided to have a it bit of fun. It could be fun. Then we just have the soldiers who called us. <laughs> I just call it a bonus. What soldiers? Uh oh. Huh. Now they're are duplicating. There's two of them. Oh, My boy. Jesus. So I can I can see what's happening here is that part of the art style or part of the like for that moment anyway part of the hey you part, oh hello part no you way. have a new color palette but uh, part Sonic. of maybe maybe part yeah, of the inspiration for that was the Sonic. spot from Spider Verse Two with like just you, you know reality again reality rendering your own fresh as ever but you're too late the ruby show me good lord the, you can literally poke the sun out with those spikes. Well, I mean, to be fair, that's just a, that's just an issue with, like, Neo's design in general, and they're like, sure, it looks intimidating, but I don't see that head mold being particularly practical. <laughs> it's a it, I would say it's a decent filter, but I worry he laid it on maybe a wee bit too thick on the base. Well, I mean, like I said, I'll give, I'll give Landy cred. I feel like trying to replicate the, the metal... I don't know if it's different from the one that they usually use in a dubs, but like just in general, that oh, oh, oh damn it! Get back, kid! I've been itching for a good fight. Yeet! Oh no! And once again, Sonic proceeds to get his butt whooped. I'll say the color work in this is fantastic. Oh yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. like the one thing that I do love about the art in this. Like they do a good job conveying just how intense this whole scene is. My sensors detect low vitals. Your odds of success. Uh, I'm just happy to see the old man. He's a fun. He's a. He's a. He's a fun villain. To continue. Take all yeah. that force of power of Sonic and then somehow put even more into it. Do you truly believe? There's a reason why he needed both tails and knuckles as help to be able to stand up to this thing. And technically needed the force of twelve people to stop him at his highest like power level. Give me a minute and I'll do it again. With such confidence. Perhaps you could carry on alone. Uh, what are you? Oh, gadget! Uh oh. That's it. Into the portal. Nice. Yeah. Good going. Let him just <laughs> run off back to his little hideout. How exactly does this? You know, I'll, I'll also say this, plan. and I say this as a credit to both the writing and to and like Digit's performance here. This mod definitely gives Infinite, like, a lot more of a visible personality than they had in the base game. Thank you. It gives them more of a personality compared to the other writing that they had before, like, both with the comics and the initial game writing. Like, honestly, Infinite's writing in both those things are so fucking dog shit. Well, it's just, it's dull, it's just, oh, I am going to be the best. Like, no one ever was. It just doesn't help because they made it so confusing with both the comics and games for Infinite. Like, so, even later yeah, in like, the game, they just made it so fucking weird. Right. Your thoughts on that, James? I'm sorry, what? Oh, I was saying, your uh, thoughts we were talking on, about, like, the, about, Infinite's, about Infinite's characterization character here compared to, like, base for forces. Honestly, all I was gonna say afterwards is that I mean, it's a diff it's a diff definitely an interesting shift in personality, but it also makes him and Metal Sonic look like a fucking like angry married couple. Oh, I love that. I, I, I mean, Sonic I love, does I joke about that later. I mean, this is this wouldn't even be the first time we've seen other like duos. Like, remember when Eggman freaking got into an argument with himself? Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember Neo Metal Sonic? Well, get this. He's back, and he's in cahoots with him. <gasps> Uh -oh. Neo Metal Sonic? Oh, come on, you beat. What an, that, what an inopportune time to retire the Sonic oh, heroes. Yeah. Bad news. Well, come I mean, on, most of them are here. I don't think I was then suddenly, Silver. What is he, like, Silver. <laughs> and then there's Silver. <laughs> it's, it's like the freaking American Death. They go, How long have you been standing there? Have you, have you been standing there this whole time? Mm hmm. 
Oh, well, I've always yeah, been here. Um, he just didn't have the budget to show it. You think maybe he would have gone back to his future after all was said and done? Right, he was only here because he time traveled to warn Knuckles about some great calamity that he had seen from you know, the future future. Well, I mean, it is kind of funny, because, like, I know the comics kind of, like, one of the annuals touch on the fact that, like, you know, Silver's still sticking around, technically, you know, to ensure that his future is safe, but he also just kind of feels like... What's our next move? I, I don't know. Like, I, I think the comic kind of words it better than I can. It's coming from the kid's transponder. Really? Where is he? I've pinpointed the location. It looks like it's being broadcasted from the wreckage of the Death Egg. That's probably not good. I don't think that's an airtight vessel up there. It still hurts. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's it's Swiss cheese. How do you wind up there? No idea. Why do you? How do you think he wound up there? He took the bus. He took the bus. It's a portal they used. He took the shortcut through null space. Yeah. There we go. So, I, I, if you can already believe it, uh, we're actually already nearing the uh, final, you know, final confrontation. Uh, it's all happening on the Death Egg because that's where they're uh, using the generator to keep the Phantom Ruby alive for just a wee bit longer. Yeah, because you know, some things just never stay dead. Let's just break in again and smash it. Do you think? I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Do you think the Phantom Ruby, as far as how it pertains to like what its actual power and abilities are, do you think the Phantom Ruby was potentially where Sonic as a whole kind of jumped the shark a bit? In terms of like the stakes, well, I'd say relatively speaking, yeah. Because once you start making it to a point where it becomes a much better, greater force than even the chaos and that chaos emeralds and the master emerald, I think that's when you gotta maybe dial it down a little bit, right? And, and I, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, like, I like what this and the comics are trying to do with. Uh -oh. Yes, actually, I think Too soon, Silver. Too system. soon. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> um, it's um, it's like I don't know this. I um, I like what the comics is trying to do, and that they are trying to introduce the concept of more like special stones. Really quick, I love this art style. This is my favorite. I think again, like the vibrant like was pretty good. Um, like like the warp topaz, or again the phantom ruby. I don't know if they've ever done anything with sapphires, but like if they do go through that like idea, I don't know. Well, I know in the, in the Archie comics they do stuff with barrels. Oh yeah, anarchy uh, barrels. Yeah, yeah, anarchy barrels. That sounds like a knockoff of Chaos Emeralds. It technically is. It, it's they supposed are. to be like a different universe's version of Chaos Emeralds. Oh. Yeah, the way it is is the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, it's from the of, universe of uh, uh, universe. Oh, Skrr. Gotcha. Right. Funny, you know, funny how, funny how the pre, the uh, prequel comic of course actually references that. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Oh yeah, that's right. They do. By done saying it was too and, derivative. And precious stones. Wrong game. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I, know, I was actually thinking of exactly thing, but Deadpool two isn't that derivative? Yes. Now. Yes. Especially for two. Fortunately for us, we already have everything we need right here. That being said, this is indeed Ooh. an unforeseen turn of events. I did not yeah. expect them to find out this. Yeah, we should have conquered the whole yeah, well, whole world like, like five minutes ago. I am literally powered by a phantom ruby that can literally warp dimensions. Why haven't I just pulled every single metal saw? Really, real quick, if I were to ever like add some you know stupid jumping the shark moments of my own, imagine if metal so imagine if Neo Metal Sonic used the power of you know the phantom ruby to not just bring over stupid copies, but like actually like. Kind of like what happened with Classic Sonic, bring over versions of like Silver Sonic, Mecha Sonic, and like all the other ones, like to like form a Metal yeah. Sonic like armada. That would be. It's cool. like you know the main the main the main game had Metal Chaos Shadow and uh, Zapbox. Why, why not like if in under his power, literally just bringing back all the metals? Right. And the best part is that since they're metal, they don't have to be weird, stupid hologrammy copies. Just oh yeah, I have a factory, and I know how to make uh. myself. Well, I mean, to Force's credit, they did kind of, like, poke fun at that, too, with, like, them saying, wait, if he could just make a, his own Metal Sonics, why does he need the Phantom Ruby to make copies of it? Oh. Shut my mouth. Figured it out. Mass production is a beautiful thing, isn't it, Hedgehog? Hang on. Uh, no, oh, really. my gosh, they copy. They got me cornered. Hang on. I Man, that, I hate do. that they're actually competent now. No, I, but I, I, in real talk, I do like that, though. Got it. Hmm. Yay. Ah! 
Ooh. What was the point yeah, of that? Uh, yeah, laser barrier's still up there, dipshit. I think you were supposed to kill all the enemies first. Oh. Most likely, because I remember that ha some of those occasionally happened in the in the base game. I'm just gonna do that again. Cause that was <laughs> you know, it's times like these where I feel grateful when I when I play through forces I chose the bird class character because at least they can double jump. Yeah, I, I I actually wonder if this game would actually allow me to change it or you know in order to remain consistent with the cutscenes I have to stick with the wolf. I think you can still change the avatar to whatever you want. It's just a matter of like gadget will still look like he does in the promo stuff because you know you, you can't really apply the randomization of avatar to two D cutscenes. Right. Right. That would be way too much customization. Unless you make, unless you make like multiple copies of the same thing, right. which that would be very time-consuming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah but no you'd idea. be surprised how dedicated some. You'd be a bit surprised how dedicated some projects are with that kind of detail. I mean, remember the endings of Donkey Kong Country Returns? I guess it also oh, yeah. is a matter of like how easy it would be to like code two D cutscenes that evolve like that along with it, like the avatar creator. I, my get the, 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 off the top of my head, the best way you could do it is you would need it would basically be like using out. It would basically be like using flash animation to like have different layers that would like be on top of the. Uh, okay, that that would be on, that would literally be on top of the uh, like the model. Excuse me. Uh, that would like change depending on which like you know flags were set. That, that's just how I would do it, but it, it wouldn't look as good as this. Man, imagine imagine that for a moment. A Sonic, a, a Sonic Forces mod that's powered powered by those age-old Newgrounds Sonic character creators. Gosh. <laughs> oh, no! I'll just keep moving forward. And there's another Void thingy there. but uh, So I guess another quick thing I, I, I should mention is Right now, I have it, unfortunately, deactivated. Again, sorry to those people who did work on this. It's just not been my favorite part of this mod. Is, um... True to form with the Avatar song... Avatar stages, the songs actually do have uh, okay, vocals. Um, but you are able to actually turn them off in this mod. And just hear the instrumental versions, which is what I'm doing. Makes sense. Whoa. I need rings, I need rings, I need rings, I need rings, I need rings. Oh god. Or a checkpoint. Or a checkpoint. Please give me rings. Or the bit or or the gold. That works too. Oh, oh boy. There you Thank go. Thank you, lightning whip. It was mean of you to put it, it was mean of you to put both the things I needed after the enemies, but at least I got them. <laughs> what what a to, what total teases. Wow! Oh boy. Uh oh. I got Whoa, right, I got yeah. a checkpoint. I got shot. Show this game, but again, uh, it's it's very solid. Um, Almost there. I I have no, I, I don't really have, I don't really have much in the way of complaints of. Uh, well, I spoke too soon. I don't really have much <laughs> in the way of complaints of the level design. Like it, it's been, it's been very solid. They they have felt like the proper length for a 3D Sonic right. game like this, not insanely long like 06s, um, and or oh, unleashed or unleashed. Um, and otherwise they feel fair and... Oh, no. Oh, Speaking hey. of Unleashed, it's the Grand Trio again! Oh, boy. And they're... And they are... They're much more faster on the trigger than ever. Right. No. Oh! Like, holy shit. Give, <laughs> give a guy a little extra breathing room, why don't you? Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, let's Jeez, go to the left. it's almost as if they're trying to stop you from stopping the bad guys or something. They're trying to hit us! Zero. <laughs> oh, careful! No, no! Stop going in front of those oh, lasers! Boy. You're gonna keep get. You're gonna get yourself killed! Oh, thank goodness! Oh no! You're gonna get yourself zapped <laughs> or blown what up. What's he doing? <gasps> you run! Oh. oh, don't worry, you made it. Just Neo. Giant disco ball. Neo metals watching. This look like oh. a disco ball. Neo metals watching this like. Okay, no one's okay. No one give that guy connects anymore. <laughs> yeah, he can't be trusted. He breaks everything he, he breaks everything he touches. <laughs> I hope you step on them, you piece of shit! Avoid oh, boy, boy, spawn. Alright. I know someone's getting it's... cold for Christmas hey, this year. Question, yeah. Seriously, how'd you even get up here? Wow. Mm. There's the core. Well, they certainly got the mood down, Pat. The ominous lighting, monochromatic color scheme, nice and creepy. As it should, yeah. as you do. 
Let's right, use Tails' old Magu map. MacGuffin drive. The spiderwalls are pretty complex. Crap! What do they call the Spider Verse one? A uh, goober. The goober. Don't worry, pal. Oh yeah. We'll buy goober. as much time as we can. I mean, you yeah, could just be a normal person to call them flash drives. Yeah, or USB drives. A goober See, sounds voice cracks. Yeah, a goober. Easy. We'll swing by there, try and create as much noise as possible. Man, then leave imagine someone actually owns a goober that looks like the Goofy Goober. That's like the Ushigi. We'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, sounds okay. good. You <clears> All right. A walk in the park. I got this. Hmm. Everything You're okay, You're always confident and arrogant and meh. I see someone's. All right, then. I see someone's not too happy about what happened last about during the last time they teamed up. And at least this it doesn't feel forced. It's basically just, hey, listen, maybe let's stop with all the run in your mouth and let's actually like try to get out of this alive first. It doesn't feel forced. Oh ha ha! All right, let's lead him. Away. Let's lead Metal Sonic, Neo Metal, and Infinite away on a grand merry nice. chase. Looks like you tripped the security system. Hopefully that'll grab <clears throat> Meteor Rush, the hip sequel to Meteor Hurt. Ah. Oh my lord. Much less rapping involved, though. Oh, you're no fun anymore. Maybe one day when Knuckles gets a little more more time to shine than uh, what Already what he was able to get in um, another story. Yeah. yeah. Then they'll wow! consider Ooh! doing deep raps again. <laughs> I shattered through way more. I shattered through way more than just that asteroid. I thought it was gonna yes, like, you, you know, just break it. Instead, I cleared way past the sound barrier. I mean, isn't that what Sonic does best? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm here. But, like, I mean, that's the other thing. Like, I think they've been... I should probably homing attack that. Probably. No sh kidding. Okay, I'm gonna homing attack that and not just boost. But, okay, but again, speaks volumes of the level design. It's not just boost and, you know, it's not. it has not been brainless, but it hasn't... I feel like the level design hasn't been making it boring either. Like, even though... Even though it's not, uh, even though it's sacrificing, you know, some of the level design, with, you know, you having to make choices, it still is keeping, uh, you know, having some exciting, you know, geometry, like, you know, r grind rails here and there, a good flip. It, it, it's been feeling very dynamic and energetic as it should. Yeah, it's giving you a little more to do. Go this way. And branching paths again for replayability. Whoa, to the right. Mm hmm. Nope. Just yeah, I, I I I can I cannot imagine how mu how long this must take to mod stages like this and make the camera controls the way they're supposed to and make sure the hit detection of all these platforms and things. I thought I could hit that grind rail. I you really did. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oops. did you just end up like hopping over those springs? Yes, because I was trying to land on this grind rail and I jumped at literally the one moment I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have jumped. Okay. Listen, you don't. You mean to tell me that you've never had those instances where you accidentally overshot something and not noticed that you're actually there actually is additional flooring you got to worry about? I do. I remember my 14th birthday. <laughs> That was the best trip to the hospital I ever had. <laughs> Can't oh, wait to go that again. Was a trip in more, that was a trip in more ways oh than one. Gosh. Listen, have you had hospital cafeteria pizza? It's actually more goaded than you think. All I'm saying is I think I understand now why people go in the hospital. I don't know, that's bad. Oh, it oh. makes me want to break my other leg. You mean they don't? You mean they're not just doing it for the insurance money? I should have called this years ago. It makes me. It makes me. Sorry, it just you remind me of freaking Sonic F. Actually, like that that one Sonic X bridge bridge the project. I forgot about that. Like, whenever oh, yeah. I think of like, whenever I think of like a bridge series esque content when it comes to Sonic X, the only one that I remember really watching a lot of is something called the Vector Show. The Vector Show. What's the Vector Show? <laughs> I mean, I well, know basically, it took clips where... of X that focused on the Chaotix uh -huh. and strung together, like, a lot of really weird stories. And it's like, and they didn't even get people to, like, voice over them. They basically, like, took, like, actual voice clips from the show and tried to, try to amateurly, mind you, but string them together to make, like, their own bits of, like, concept and lore. So they were trying to make, so it basically was, like, YouTube poop. It, that, that's, in many ways, it kind of is. It's, okay. it's like a serialized YouTube poop. It kind of, it, it kind of almost reminds me 
it sort of it reminds me oh my gosh it reminds me of uh, uh -oh. you ever heard of uh, Garfield without Garfield or something like that oh yeah yes. I know that it's <laughs> yeah they're basically just taking all of the Garfield comic strips made and just edit Garfield out of them so that John looks like he's insane just making random decisions and sometimes nothing happens in the comic at all yeah. Although that does make me wonder how that works with, like, certain comic strips where, like, Garfield actually interacts with something to John. Like, say, if you have a strip where it's like, oh, Garfield's angry about this plate of cat food, so he just chucks it at John. How exactly would that work in Garfield minus Garfield? His house is haunted. There's a poltergeist <laughs> about. Or maybe what we don't see is that John did, did it himself. Oh, Maybe. That, that's just, even sadder, actually. And he's just trying to he's just <laughs> trying to guilt you into feeling bad. I don't know. I'm also now... I saw this recent TikTok that was discussing... Random thought, because now I'm talking about, Gar, about the Garfield movie. Um, hey, remember when Sonic and Garfield got to have their have a whole game compilation on PC right. once? Oh my god. Look at that. Well, it, it, well, compilation in a sense of, like... It was about as extensive as, like, the, the Rayman oh 3 and Winnie god. the Pooh GBA compilation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it only makes sense because it only makes sense because Sega were the ones responsible for you know the Sonic games as well as uh, the Garfield game they were showcasing at the time, which was um, uh, Cotton Eye. Right. Act. Right. Oh my lord. Um, but I was thinking, I was suddenly thinking of freaking. Uh, there was this TikTok that was discussing like just just hear me on this the concept that that uh, Chris that Chris Pratt and Aquafina would be the most cursed Hollywood couple ever in terms of voice acting. Well, they're, so, they're, they're certainly becoming, like, Hollywood's what most behated punching home? bags. Like, like well, Chris Pratt's always been that, but it feels like Alcofina's definitely been rising in that regard. I think, it's just, I think it's just a matter of people were getting sick of hearing her voice all the time. And not to mention that the character she's voiced, apart from, say, like, Mrs. Miss, uh, Miss Spider, I heard Sisu is not a very Ms. good Tarantula. part. Miss Tarantula. Sorry, not Miss Tarantula. Yeah, sorry. Uh, unlike Miss Tarantula, I've heard not many people had much good to say about Sisu. In, uh, Raya and the Last well, to be Dragon. fair, I've heard a lot of people have not much good to say about Raya in its entirety. Dang. Yeah, it's as far. You know what? To bring it back to forces, it's literally the Sonic Forces of Disney. Yeah. And then Wish came out and said, oh, "Okay, hold my beer. I can do that better." I mean, that well, that that, that at that point may as well be the Sonic. All right, and with or Sonic Boom. Which and with that, uh, we're just about at the end uh, here. So let's go. Uh, let's go kick the butt of two rivals. Yay. Yep. It, one asshole and another asshole. Game plan. Yeah, Either let's go, asshole. Fair fight. Last time was sort of proof of that. All we need to do is stall them mm -hmm. long enough for Tails to shut down the Ruby's core, and at that point... Yeah, it really is just not just having a good day. <laughs> Sounds easy enough just on paper, the, but... The nerve of this guy. No. Tail good bud? What's up? You seem a bit... Uh... Hmm... Oh, you always know did. Is this, uh, is this about what happened before? You always were a good listener. Hey, buddy, we uh, don't have much time, so I'll try to make this quick. I think a bit of an apology is in order, because admittedly, yeah, I've apparently, been up big time lately. I get that. I just, uh, I get so in the moment, fired up, that I jump straight in without even thinking about it. It's my style, you know. Gotta stay on the move. Hmm. Okay, okay. Look. What I'm trying to say hey, is, it makes more hey, it makes more sorry. sense that uh, Sonic would be in prison for six was it six everything. months or six weeks? I always forget. Months. Six yeah. months. Yeah. At least it makes more sense. It may as well. Honestly, it may as well have been six weeks as far as that. The way that it should have been six that. hours with how much actually like really yeah. like, how much how how apparently like horribly tra traumatized and affected he was by imprisonment. You're not a rookie anymore. Yeah. He did the thing. This bump! Awesome. You didn't read the rules. Yeah, this is a strictly so no fist bump zone within so within thirty quads or thirty quasics. I can't freaking Man, tell the so stupid nerdy stupid term for distance. Kick him in the groin. Whoa, easy there, Sonic. I'm. This may be a mob, but this technically is still an e rating. I'm thirty. I can say fuck when I feel like it. Fuck. Is he 30? Is he 35? I forget how old he is at this point. 30 31. Or you no, 30. He was either 32. 30. It doesn't really matter. It's Sonic we're I talking know. about. 
All right, infinite. Let's go have some fun. So, so, <laughs> Sonic is Sonic's age is purely at the at the uh, discretion of the Sonic team and Sega. Right. Yeah, like honestly, like like the way I see it is that like what would I say? Like aside from the characters that are very explicitly kid coded, like Tails, Cream, and Charmy, the rest of them are just whatever you want. Ha! <laughs> That's one down. Whoa! And I believe. Neo Metal Sonic in the flesh ish thing. You mean in the flesh, the flesh in a loose sense. Correct, but again, like the the, the, the custom I, I I there are some things in this level alone that I can under I, I can ow I can appreciate that like to load a to load a model into this game takes time. To give it to to fully rig it and give it the animations you want so it can actually interact it, like that 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 takes that takes time to do. And uh, I, I, I thoroughly appreciate the effort that they put into this. Also, suddenly this actually like really solid metal song. Uh, who did that? <laughs> who did the uh, like? Did you ever find out like who uh, was the band that they actually got to do the, to do these like songs oh. like this? Um, I forgot to look it up. I I'm sure it's in the. Cr I'm sure it's in the credits. Okay, because. I'll look it up. I'll look it up right now because I actually listened to the, uh, the song at, uh, yesterday. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When okay. this, oh yeah, when this game came out, the uh, the, the soundtrack was released on uh, YouTube. Most of the most mm -hmm. of the tracks anyway. By by the by the artist who did it. No. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. They totally copied the homework of Sonic Frontiers is like super Sonic fights. But hey, at least they uh, copied the. Uh, at least they copied the right person's homework. I might gonna I might yeah. be butchering I might be butchering the name. Uh it is by Zak Zakajo and Ko Konjian seven oh five. Oh, okay. I wonder if they have like I wonder if they have other like uh, oh oh thank goodness. I wonder if they have uh, like a band like SoundCloud or something I should like check out. Yeah probably probably. If I have butchered those names I won't. I am under the weather myself right now at the time of this recording. Yeah, 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 don't, don't worry. You're actually doing really... For someone who's still recovering from that, you're, 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 I think you're doing really solid. I'm a strong yeah. Scottish motherfucker. Oh, they just yeah. said overclock. They said the thing in the song. Also, oh my lord. Oh yeah, it goes without saying. Oh yeah, it goes without saying. I dig, the, I dig this uh, boss fight way more than what Infinite's final boss fight was in uh, Forces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, getting more to do than just being the super uh, metal Sonic knockoff. Right? Nice. It's also just a matter of like, oh, it's also a matter of like, it's not what what Infinite's fight was like in a Frontiers, no, Frontiers Forces. Uh, it was again the usual problem of like wait for the specific attack and then get him. Here it's just you know, it's basically just uh, you're just speeding along. Yeah, it's basically just a, another level, but there's you know, it's fun level. How? Yeah. Oh no! Isn't that, isn't, that, no. Uh, isn't that all what these should be in the first place? That's what it should be. That's how. That's how. That, that's how it's good. Let's go fight Neo Metal now. Hey, look at him! Ow! Like honestly, when it comes to platformers, the best kind of boss fights are the ones that still are tr still treat themselves as, pro as you know traditional. That's why we still ow. Because if you try to if, if you try to give them like give them a little too like too little, little wiggle room or anything of the sort, it just. Right. Hence why we still will talk about. Oh, that's a new one. Hence why we'll still talk about uh freaking Bowser in 3D World. Yeah? Well, Bowser, 3D World and 3D Land. I'd honestly say is 3D Land still one of the best boss fights. Oh, that's, oh that's true. That's a good one. Yeah. Hurry, Tails. Just a little bit to go and... Got it. Uh oh! It now explode. We did, Break the core! We did some tinkering. There's your whole Phantom Ruby plan, plan yeah. scrambled. No! How did you? Ha! Got you high and mighty now without your disco ball of energy, aren't you? Idiot! How could you? <laughs> oh, they're all having a little sport. Oh, such insolence. We must combine our powers to finish this. But you guys are a match for this. Ah, uh, there is a double boost. I was wondering. What there we go. For. Yeah. I mean, it feels it feels pretty appropriate to put right here. And it's cinematic. Yeah. And. I mean, especially since you know, classic Sonic came here, so we can't exactly do a triple. And your boost power, anymore. but. Let, but lo and behold, Neo and Infinite's double boost was no match for ours. 
<laughs> they were no match for the real superpower teamwork. Yay! We were trying to do teamwork. I just don't like him. But, but like, but seriously, like, uh, uh, just throwing it out there. When I was playing this live for the first time, I, th even just that little interaction in the level without breaking frame rate. I know you guys couldn't see it because this, you know, slideshow Discord, but just promise me. Uh, trust me. Uh, like, the fact they were able to do all that without breaking the frame rate and have those two models interact with each other, I, I was impressed by that. Yacker. Yeah. Yay, Yacker. Well, no, hey. not Yacker, just a regular wisp. Yeah, Yacker's the one with the, cur with the uh, curly tip. And there we go. Hey. Looks like the game oh, we have confined, we have consigned them both Fish to the realms of null no space. With the fishes and uh, Wait, what's the deal here? Yeah, actually, no. Like a war going on I thought we ago? stopped them all or something. All the robot army spontaneously shut down not too long ago. Readings are showing all traces of the ruby dissipating. Reality oh, that's good. To to so hopefully we'll never yeah. have to worry about that again. Alright. I'm done with all these illusions. Jesus. <laughs> Second that. I mean, hey. The that... pretty well All right, there, Grandpa. Time huh? to take oh, you back to bed. Man. The boy. Eggman. How did you? When they sent me to no space, Jacoby. Dumb and dumber managed to forget that I Jacoby. literally created Jacoby. That was a reference no to Christmas Carol gone wrong. Don't worry. Oh. From Just not enough to get yourself oh. out. Go figure. Eh. <laughs> Fair. To redirect your little friend oh. up here, which enables you to find the core. But oh. a big, but a well, uh, thanks for the assist, Eggman. Though, uh, <laughs> Knuckles is ready to still punch going something. For a long going to jail. Time, you're sort of responsible for a decent majority of this. What? Did you think I was actually stupid enough to tell you this in person? <laughs> I'm all fair. That's actually totally fair. To put you and your little resistance to rest. Classic. Well, catch you later, Egghead. Likewise, Rodent. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jen. Right. Well, a little anticlimactic. Ah, don't don't day, mind me, I'm just the projector. So what do you say, guys? Should we get going? I take it if if not, if not the chameleon, maybe should we at least should we at least break that chameleon bot first? I'm pretty sure there's a there's a poor flicky right? inside. It was either the chameleon or the other reference. I think they could have done is maybe what was that reference that I think it was in uh, nice. I think it was in uh, Knuckles Chaotix, but was or CD wasn't there like a projector that showed uh, Metal Sonic just Metal being Sonic? just being a bully to the animals. Yes. Yeah, it was. It was. CD. I just have one of those things be the one that was showing it, but there you go. <laughs> That'd be funny. There too. you go, guys. That was the uh, that was Sonic Forces Overclocked by everyone that you're gonna see going past here. I'll let these credits play out. Um, Good old Duck Dealer uh, and Mikester and Brandon Jones and, and the, the rest, rest and the rest including and, uh, hype. Who are we, mom? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't care. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's no, I know. People. I'm making a joke. Yeah. So again, it's props to all of you guys. Oh, that's right. Oh. The, bro the oh, that's right. The Brock Brock was also. Who's the Brock Brock? Uh, he, he's a person uh, very... that makes a lot of. Uh, oh, you go ahead, James. He's a very pivot. He's a very noteworthy uh, uh, 3D modeler and renderer, renderer for the oh. Sonic community. Raggy. <laughs> I, I think that's the. I think that's the right <laughs> they're going for. Here's the voice cast. Um, <laughs> Again, pro major props to everybody involved in this. Uh, again, like, I, I I had fun playing this. I had fun replaying this. That is not something... Oh, that, by the way, we, we skipped earlier. There was a Dark Oma Chow that would have been the original tutorial for telling Buddy how to uh, play through the level and use his Wisp on, but I kind of ran past him. Sorry, but... He did kind of he, he did kind of blend in with the but, rest uh, of the But, yeah, no, I mean, I the, the, the level design here is seriously some solid stuff. I think it rivals some of my... Like, I, I could... I would, how about this? I would look at Generations and say that there are some levels of Generations that I do not like, like, as much as I like the levels in this mod. Because, yeah, Crisis City was not my favorite. But, anywho. Yeah, I, I thought the Crisis City stuff in yeah. Generations was fine. I'd say if there was any real low point in Thrawn Generations, it was easily the Planet that Wisp That is also stuff. true. Yeah, hey, Planet thanks. Wisp, and depending on who you talk to, the... the Actually, I like, I like the Egg Dragoon boss fine. I just thought I dragged. Um, the Time Eater, I, I did not like going through. Yeah, no, I, nobody liked Time Eater. That was a piece of shit okay. fight. But uh, that, that was Generations. This is Forces Overclocked. You guys overclocked. didn't have to use that logo. You could have you used the bird and nobody would have questioned you. It was like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I actually exactly. kind of like it. Oh, you would. <laughs> of course you would, Eggman. Oh, you would. It's super solid. Everything tied to this. I'm, I will keep an eye out on what they do next. Wow. Oh, just great. 
Real peach. I was actually about to ask what ha happened Talking to the married couple. It's a, it's a Crash Bandicoot three. Void of nothingness with you. My plan was immaculate. It was your impetuous urge to fight that turned everything to chaos. Well, your plan was no better than whatever that <laughs> fat mustached fool ever came up with. <laughs> right. I am nothing like my creator. Doing just a fine job proving me otherwise. <laughs> Fair enough. I will prove my worth yeah. when I escape from this wretched prison. And all the oh yeah, you're kind of missing something in your chest the there, uh, Neo Metal Sonic. Even be said the thing. <gasps> I can't stand listening to you yap on and on any longer. It's driving me nuts. Oh, the Phantom well, Ruby's worry. power. Uh -oh. The Phantom Ruby's power is worn out now that it's gone. And he's back oh, to hyper. Beep, beep, beep. I lost weight. <laughs> I lost me. That's what? better. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, ditching that head model probably already got rid of like 80 pounds. <laughs> right. And Infinite will probably be mm -hmm. a little better with uh, chilling out there long enough. But yeah, so. Yeah, just a little longer until Ignite comes to pick but up I mean... metal. And leave, and leave, and leave, um, leave Infinite mm -hmm. to it's die. Like, Wait, Doctor, could you at least drop me, uh, drop me by my house? <laughs> Now, you have a house? You never bother to ask. Cuts to the You have a house. Cuts to him doing it, it just have a cut to him doing I either the glo the glom gold no or the aku no. like or the aku ponder. Mm. <laughs> no. And just and just, and just no. walk away anyway. It's it. Okay, I I mean, <sighs> I could accept that as being, you know, somewhat of an idea to kind of like tie it together and at least explain what happened to Eggman, why he's back use Metal Sonic, actually have a more you know, a more feasible threat besides oh, holograms, that Charmy can Charmy can poke Chaos Zero and he dies. That's not exactly an intimidating threat. I'm sorry. So anyway. Freaking classic Sonic can just boop off boop off Chaos and he yeah. dies instantly. Well, to be fair, like, it's Chaos Zero. Like, he didn't really take much booping to defeat in the beginning of Adventure 1. Yeah, but, but yeah, it just, he took about hey he took about three good boots three before good he boots. you know you know turned into a puddle and uh, fled off and uh, regardless when it got to the army scene when it was everyone fighting it it just looked so shallow and just oh just like just like a kid like flailing two action figures at each other there was no weight behind it this it's like more, a kid's imagination right th this had more really I think behind it so again well done hype as Espio and, and Eggman. Um, well done mm -hmm. to Duck Duckman and Mikester Mike Mike Mike, Mike, Mike Stoklaza <laughs> and the other one Brand Brad I'm gonna call you Brad. Um, you both all <laughs> did a, a, every, sorry everyone on this team did a fantastic job and you got me to really enjoy Sonic Forces with these tweaks and that's not a easy feat to do given the nine o'clock wait and imminent disappointment I had when I beat the game in less than four hours that next morning thinking that was it. So yeah, no, I, I will definitely follow whatever those two, whatever those three work on next. I think they uh, have great potential. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, anything else to say about that, James? Eh, not necessarily. You more or less summed up my thoughts in, uh, all the same. Like, yeah, this is a very solid mod, and you know, those that haven't tried it out for themselves, I'd say we're doing themselves yeah. a disservice. How about you, Doug? Very much on the same boat, but I don't know. It, it still has a lot to, t to even convince me to fucking play this game again. That's fair. Like, this mod did a fantastic job. I will give it that, but I'm still going to say, Forces, this still hasn't got my strong appeal to even play the game again. Okay, then, then hopefully maybe there can be a couple more collections of it. Um, what, what we'll about... just have to see. All right. Give it about ten collections, and then maybe <laughs> be interested. Uh, what What about you? Make es... it a game where I can play it for hours. That would be nice. Uh, what about what, what? What say you, Espio and Eggman, on a tandem bicycle enjoying ice cream on a summer set afternoon together? Why am I here? I don't know. I don't know why you're the one peddling either. Oh, all right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> because I sprayed my leg, of course. Bye bye. Have a that's <laughs> as, as the one okay the okay no, actually no okay, come on in, uh, sorry that my bad in, re in all in all seriousness um uh, what were your thoughts on being a part of this and working on this uh hype well it was really fun seeing it all turn out as great as good as it did like what's funny is that like you know when it was released 
it actually was kind of a really big deal. Like, not even just within the Sonic fandom, but, like, this this actually got, like, a surprising amount of attention that I don't think the, the, the team that worked on it were, like, really expecting. Like, there were actually a handful of, like, gaming magazines that were actually covering this mod. And wow. the fact that it got as much exposure and love as it did, you know, and this team definitely deserves a lot of it. And although, like, for me on a personal level, it is just one of those things where it's like, you know, if I had a nickel for every time I got to star in a critically acclaimed piece of Sonic fan gaming, I'd have two nickels. It's not a lot, <laughs> but I still can't believe it happened twice. There? I mean, I mean, I mean just count your lucky superstars and know that you did a good. I don't know. It's just, they, they, I think the I think people know good talent, and I think that's why they are continuing to look to you for this, these voices. And I think you've been performing consistently well across the board in these games. And these projects and i look forward to seeing what else you know comes in your future oh you oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> thank you all for joining us and have, and have a good one um i forget what our next sonic i think we, yeah, we still gotta we still gotta get to speaking of neo metal sonic we still gotta get back to uh revisiting <laughs> the old glory days of kicking his ass that's Hell true. yeah! Uh, just as soon as every, just as soon as everything else, the Sonic Frontiers is finished. It's about time we go back to the age old year of 19, uh, 2004 for some Sonic Heroes. Woo! It gives motherfucking ass. Till next time. Frozen yogurt for life, baby. <laughs>